Delaney, can I just have a word? DCI Doug James. I know who you are. This is all starting to get a bit worrying. I've already had a phone call this morning. We've had two visits. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But uh, if I could just ask you, you see, we're finding it difficult to track down the, the midwife that delivered your baby. You can't seriously believe Fiona's got anything to do with this. Well, you weren't there at the birth and, and, and you were abroad during the pregnancy. I'm sorry, I don't see how this is any of your business. Well, it's my business if she snatched my son. Uh, did, did you have sex with her? Did you, did, you, did you feel her? Did you see her naked? How dare you? No, I can understand how desperate you must be feeling. But I'm sorry, this is harassment. Fiona's in a very emotional state, and I will report you. Did you see her naked? Did you feel the baby? Because That's you it, did. Off. <laughs> Don't even think about trying to see Fiona. You'll be hearing from my solicitor. sexual relationship with Fiona. I hope to God no one else is planning on questioning her because she's very anxious. I'm really sorry, Mr. Delaney, but please try to understand the pressure DCI James is under. You must know, being a recent father yourself and as someone who holds a high-ranking position, that pressure can often take over from sense. I'm asking you not to press charges against him. Right, Fiona's midwife, Joyce Elgin. Now, she is registered, but they won't give me the details. So they said they'd contact her and get her to get in touch. There you go. Matt, can I keep looking at this Sheena Davis connection? It's really bugging me. <laughs> what, so you can get an overnighter to Liverpool and get out of the pressure cooker here? No. We know that Sheena's sister was also pregnant, and I want to check the birth certificates. Let me give you my card my direct line. If you're at all concerned, please feel free to give me a call. Are you? Concerned? About Fiona? Well, it's a very serious situation. If you have any suspicions. I'm sorry, I don't quite understand what you're saying. You're saying you have suspicions? I'm following a line of inquiry. Please, don't give me that crap. You have doubts? You, oh, you can't seriously think that Fiona is in any way involved in the, the snatching of this baby? Mr Delaney, all we know is that a woman possibly faked her pregnancy. Faked? And you think that... <laughs> this is unbelievable. As if I wouldn't know! Well, from what you've told us, you weren't present at the birth. You were also absent several months before. And we know that Fiona was strong enough to drive herself to Portsmouth. I'm not listening to another word. If you want to speak to Fiona or me again, I will insist that we have a solicitor present. He seems to have settled down now, no thanks to you. I was waiting for that bright water. He gets terrible wind. They're having trouble tracking down your midwife. The number you gave me is wrong. Well, that's the number I've got for her. This is mad. Yeah, you're telling me. But we need to get it cleared up. What are you looking at me like that for? Oh. Oh, yeah. You've been down to the station, haven't you? You've met that so-called commander. I've got Claire Blake's direct line. Oh, I bet you have. Fiona. This is going to have to stop. If every time I so much as speak to another woman, you go into one of your jealous rages. Can you blame me? The way you've treated me. How many times have you left me? I'm not leaving you, Fiona. We're getting married. It's what you've always wanted. But tell me it's what you want, Jerry. Tell me, because you have a son now and you have to grow up. Because Marcus needs you.
I'm sorry. I didn't like the way this officer was questioning me in the street. That's why I went to the station. He questioned you? Yeah, about the missing baby. And it got very personal. You know, asking whether we'd had sex. Well, how do they think I got pregnant? Immaculate conception. I just want them to be satisfied and leave us alone. I'd better go and sort him out again. remember something about Joyce. She was going to Australia to see her daughter. <laughs> you just suddenly remembered that? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because I only had Joyce here. What does that mean? When Marcus was born, I was meant to have two midwives, but I insisted on only having one. Is there anything else you're not telling me, Fiona? to get more details about the midwife. Her name is Joyce Elgin, and when I asked Fiona about her, she said, excuse me. She could be in Australia. Something about visiting her daughter. Why didn't you just phone this in? Was it something else? I just wanted it all straightened out. If she was faking the pregnancy, I would know. But the more I thought about it, I mean, obviously we'd had sex. But not since she was pregnant? No. Well, uh, maybe early on, you know, when she first found out. But as you pointed out, I'd been away from when she'd been about three months. So I want a DNA test. I mean, I've got to know. I'm supposed to be marrying her next week. You lied to me! You just, bastard! Just, you just, fucking just liar! Just calm down! Stop you! You lying bastard! You lying! You! I can report you for trying to split us up! You off me! Uh. You bitch! Fiona! Where are you taking Fiona, him? Fiona, destroy him! 